What's up, Market Sniper? This is Jesse back at it again today. The title of this video is called Bitcoin and the Miners. Sounds a little bit like a band, but uh, it's kind of a cool title. Anyways, we're going to jump into it. And, you know, this is the third third time I've been on camera today. The first one was the live stream for one hour and nine minutes this morning. Then I did a 47 minute video. I just released the version one beta test for the snipers dashboard, right? So to help uh, treat our treat trading and investing like a business uh, more and more and more, right? So just released that. Uh, it's going to be for the beta test. It's only going to be for the market snipers right now, and then uh, get to work on version two. And then once version two is is complete, and I think it's good for uh, the public or the math the masses, then uh, I'll I'll go ahead and add it to the website and, and release it then. But let's jump right in. So Bitcoin, we'll try to keep this video to about seven to ten minutes. Bitcoin, you know, the daily close will happen in about 20 minutes. It's been a pending buy signal all day. And uh, so most likely it will have a buy signal. So you had this uh, bullish divergence followed by the reversal candle, followed by uh, a close back above the trending line, the trending dots, right? Trending circles. Um, and now it looks like we're going to have a buy signal after that. So it seems like this path will continue. And so we'll see how it plays out. If it comes up here, hits this target, possibly this target. And then, you know, the reason why, you know, there is a possibility it hits the fourth target as well. So while the, you know, we talked about this in the live stream, talked about it on all the other videos. So you feel free to dive in there. But if there is a fourth target on there, then um, it's a possibility, right? So obviously the target one, two are higher probabilities than target three, than, than four as, as it moves on. But we're going to talk more about the miners here. So um, I put out a tweet earlier. I said, you know, uh, comment which asset you want me to take a little bit deeper dive. And I thought it was a pretty good one. There's some other good ones too, but I covered... A couple of them in the live stream. So this one was seemed a little bit newer from Mike G, and uh, you know Discord member. And uh, so we're gonna go over the Bitcoin miners. So you got Bitcoin. Come right here to Bitfarm, and I did a little bit of mapping out just because there's a few of them. One, two, three, four of them that we're gonna look over. They look very similar, and so if Bitcoin gets this bounce. You know, maybe we're going to see these Bitcoin miners also get a bounce. Possibly a retracement up to target one, two, three, four. These are fast movers. They move even faster than Bitcoin. So if you get a buy signal, it, you know, you got to watch out that it hits those targets quickly and then it reverses on you fairly quickly. So I know shout out to Mike G. I know he did very good taking profit on the last one. I think it was uh, riot when it hit $18, he took profit and we were, we were talking about it. Um, so it's too early to say yet, but you have, um, some signs of life on RSI. There was a, a buy signal followed by a sell signal on RSI, but it is starting to curl back up, but you do have this overhead resistance. So it could take some time. Maybe, you know, tomorrow's Friday. Then you got Monday, then you got Tuesday. Maybe it takes, you know, by next week, you see price starting to pump out. Maybe it's target one, two, three or four, whatever it is. And then, you know, possibly reverses back down. So let's just take a quick glance at the weekly chart. The weekly chart is bearish. So it's possible that you get this quick bounce up. And you can see where the, the trending dots on the weekly chart is um, – you got this confluence area close to the second target. So that's a possibility. Maybe you see like RSI kind of uh, come back up into the EMA and versus back down. So that's Bitfarm. Let's look at Riot. 
Also got to get going fast because the Vikings start here in about 17 minutes as well. So I got to get this video uploaded and uh, the newsletter sent out, you know, tonight as well. So uh, trying to trying to go fast. But you get the you get the weekly chart, right? You get the weekly chart. RSI sell signal. RSI is still bearish. Kind of letting the EMA catch up on RSI. <clears throat> Let the trending dots kind of catch up again up by the second target area. So on the daily chart, uh, not as, you know, um, buy and sell signal on the RSI. You just had that one buy signal, and now you've got RSI kind of flipping back up to the upward direction, kind of running into resistance at the, at the daily trending dots, right, trending circles. So you could be seeing, you know, a possible move up into target one, two, or three, you know, as a as a retracement, price possibly puts in a lower high because the weekly chart is bearish. Hut. So Hut hit a key target area. I left it on there and um, then had this big correction down. So like I said, like from there to there, they're big moves. That's a hundred and twenty-six move in. You know, how many days is that? So from here, from this buy signal to that top wick, uh, 22 days, 128% to the top wick, right? Followed by a longer term consolidation. So as the weekly chart is still bearish, right? Still bearish. I'm going to expect that these targets, if they... If there's a breakout to the upside, these targets will be, you know, these some of these targets at least, you know, maybe one, two, three, possibly four targets could be hit. Obviously, none of this is financial advice. Uh, definitely do your own charting and your own research and stuff like that. But could see it kind of come up similar to Bitcoin and then roll back over if the weekly chart is still bearish. Um, otherwise, it's possible. Possible is putting in a lower high, but then the weekly chart would have to start flipping around bullish. And so I'm going to expect that it's a, a bounce or a retracement from the move down um, until the weekly chart is starting to flip back around. So the trending dots will probably come in the second target area as well. Definitely in that confluence. So if price kind of spikes back up, puts in a lower high. And then see if it comes back down. And then the last one, Mara, 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 Marathon Digital. I call it Mara because it's marathon, right? Um, weekly chart is bearish. And um, he had that move to the upside. Again, that's probably another, maybe not as much as Hut, but another from there to there you know almost a hundred percent bounce in a short period of time longer term consolidation everything's still turning down there's a buy signal followed by a sell signal so marathon digital isn't looking you know as uh you know signs of life or it could be lagging behind but not as much as let's say uh, not even not even hut uh but there's a pending uh, bull cross on hut as we just saw um, riot bit farm so i would say out of the four riot looks like it's you know uh, showing more signs of life than it could start to flip back around bullish to hit some of these targets more so than bit farm hut and, and mara and so a lot of times we watch these type of uh, assets that run very closely together and um, and sometimes a couple are leading or one is leading and the other ones are kind of lagging so kind of watch out for that uh, if we did drop down the 12 hour just for fun before jumping off uh, not much there eight hour not much so it's it's still pretty early Four hour looks like it more so. You can see even the four hour had like 
this huge move. So even from the four hour chart buy signal to the peak, 90% move. And then followed by this big correction. Uh, so there was a four hour close this morning uh, above the trending dots, a second four hour close above the trending dots and could be flipping bullish and sh possibly could have a, a buy signal in the four hour chart coming up here. And then you see if those, those dots get hit. So that's Riot. Those are the, that's the, our new band, Bitcoin and the miners. So uh, I don't think I've, I've ever tailored that before, but Bitcoin and the miners, that's, that's pretty much it. I will get this uh, uploaded. Please uh, like the, like the videos, like the newsletters, uh, share the newsletter, share the video, uh, and of course, subscribe to both. They're both free. And uh, I'll, of course, I'll upload this in the Discord as well. Thank you. Good luck to the Vikings. I hope they win. I hope they pull out a miracle. I, I don't have a lot of hope for them, but I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.